A year ago, during the insurrection, uh, people tried to break the Electoral College. Now, Senate Democrats are trying to break the Senate. I think it's appropriate to ask, what would the Senate look like in a post-nuclear world? I ruled 14 onto the calendar last night about uh, 10 or 12 bills that in a post-nuclear world we would be moving to, which enjoy the support of all 50 Republicans and might well enjoy the support of a number of Democrats. In other words, the ability to set the agenda now exclusively in the hands of the majority would ironically shift over to the minority. Also, I think all of you know the Senate operates on unanimous consent. It takes unanimous consent to turn the lights on. So in a post-nuclear Senate, it's appropriate to ask, how easy would it be to get consent to turn the lights on? How easy would it be to have the traditional majority function of determining the agenda? This is a place America does not want to go to. It's also important to remember that the filibuster also gives smaller states an opportunity to have greater influence, an argument Senator Manchin has repeated over and over again. So let me say we're ready to have this vote. We think it's time for those who want to break the Senate to stand up and try to break the Senate, and let's see where everybody stands.